and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this, and that'll take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that, and hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing, and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis Chapter 28 Isaac called Jacob, blessed him, and commanded him, You shall not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Padan Aran, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father. Take a wife from there, and the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. May God Almighty bless you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, that you may be a company of peoples, and give you the blessing of Abraham, to you and to your offspring with you, that you may inherit the land where you travel, which God gave to Abraham. Isaac sent Jacob away. He went to Badan, Aram, to Laban, son of Bethuel, to Syrian, Rebekah's brother, Jacob and Esau's mother. Now Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Badan, Aram, to take him away from there. And that as he blessed him, he gave him a command, saying, You shall not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother, and was gone to Padan Aram. Esau saw that the daughters of Canaan didn't please Isaac his father. Esau went to Ishmael, and took, besides the wives that he had, Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebioth, to be his wife. Jacob went out from Beersheba, and went toward Haran. He came to a certain place, and stayed there all night, because the sun had set. He took one of the stones of the place, and put it under his head, and lay down in that place to sleep. He dreamed, behold, a stairway set upon the earth, and its top reached to heaven. Behold, the angels of God, ascending and descending on it. Behold, Yahweh stood above it and said, I am Yahweh, the God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon you lie to you I will give it, and to your offspring. Your offspring will be as the dust of the earth, and you will spread abroad to the west, and to the east, to the north and to the south. In you and your offspring will all the families of the earth be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go or bring you again into this land, for I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken of to you. Jacob awakened out of his sleep and he said, Surely Yahweh is in this place and I didn't know it was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other than God's house, and this is the gate of heaven. Jacob rose early in the morning, and took the stone that he had put under his bed, and set it up for a pillar, and poured oil on its top. He called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at the first. Jacob made a vow, saying, if God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and clothing to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, and Yahweh will be my God, then this stone which I have set up for a pillar will be God's house. Of all that you will give me, I will surely give a tenth to you.